I had to be the best graduating, go to college, and go to a prestigious university, getting a job, making lots of money, a family. It's almost like it's selfish in our society to do things that make you happy. I just don't think those systems are the right path for everyone's life. I realized when I came here that I can be happy and I can do things to make me happy without worrying so much about the consequences. Coming here, I realized that I didn't want any of that, that there were so many things that made me happy and that ignoring those things didn't get me anywhere. I realized that graduating high school isn't gonna make me happy and going to college isn't gonna make me happy, but there's this paradox where if I don't go to high school, if I don't go to college, I'm so much more likely to, I guess, fail. This is homemade bread. <laughs> Soft and warm thing. Flowers make me happy and cats make me happy. When I realize that everything is going well for me. Being grateful for my life, my family. When I communicate with other people from different places and I understand them, they understand me. It means uh, satisfaction to my connections to other people are uh, always positive if I can make them that way. Sunshine and cats and thunderstorms <laughs> and colors. Knowing that I have community where I live. To cook makes me happy and being able to cook food from it and to know where my food comes from and that it was sustainably grown. Also, um, baby lambs shaking their tails like... <laughs> Two wonderful kids, Charlton, who's four, and Sophia, who is six. We've been living in this house, which is very special to us. We read it ourselves. So long as the American dream is just a dream of everybody having more stuff and getting richer and consuming more, I think it affects happiness in a very negative way. The happiness initiative is an effort to go beyond the GDP and start finding ways to measure how we're doing that are that are more representative actually of the goods and the bads. Happiness is confusing because we're fed a lot of different ideas about it. this idea of a perfect life. Even in advertising, on television, you'll turn on the television and you'll see an ad for Coca-Cola and it says, ooh, happiness. Once I started feeling the emptiness or this lack of you know, passion for what I was doing, I really wondered how many of them were sort of faking themselves. I think it ends up leading to our working too much, jeopardizing our health.
Surrounded by slavery, I think about the clothes on my back, want to tear them away from me. Everything around me, I live on the tears of my fellow humans. We are both chained, I in hate and rage, and them in injustice and pain, a life for no one. The Nevada City Happiness Initiative is a great opportunity for us to share how we're feeling with our policymakers, employers, and others. With our help, they will be able to make changes that increase our happiness and well-being. But before this action can be taken, we have to do our part. Go to happycounts.org and take the happiness survey. I saw the happiness initiative and how older people are usually happier than younger people. I, I didn't understand why it had to be that way. And I thought that the Happiness Initiative was saying it doesn't have to be that way. Like, everyone can be happy all the time. Everybody has their own definition of happiness. There's not, like, one thing that, like, makes everyone happy. What do you mean happiness? And you're like, well, let's think about it. People will generally say, I'm already happy. It was so difficult because we didn't exactly know what happiness was. And I don't think anybody knows what happiness is, but you could just feel that what we were trying to say is it wasn't right. And <laughs> so we realized we had to restart our doc because the happiness initiative isn't really about changing everyone it's about changing the conversation and getting everyone to think it's hard to realize that what society thinks you should be doing is not what your heart is telling you to do. Like some people are really judgmental about it. And like if you go against it, people automatically think like that you're going against the system and there's something wrong. People wonder if maybe something's wrong with you or you're wasting your potential. People oftentimes don't do what makes them happy. Even though it's such a basic thing, it's still sort of terrifying. It's just so frightening. decisions that can make you happy. Every day we make decisions about whether we'll do what makes us happy and what we're supposed to be doing. In the future, I will go to college, but it will be for entirely different reasons. I don't think that I can live happily within the system of life that our country has created. As long as I'm doing what makes me happy, it doesn't matter where I'm doing it. Probably not, but what else do we have to be working for if we're not working for happiness? Maybe I want to live forever. <laughs> if I want to see happiness in my life, then I have to create it. I have to challenge myself. Happiness overall um, is something that you create. The word happy or happiness could be a blend of what is love and what is harmony and what is peace.